Hey guys, what's up? It's IG on the Disposable Gorilla channel here to rant about what I see as hypocrisy from the atheist community. And I know, I know, not another one of these videos. Let's see what IG has got to say in this time. But don't worry, I'm not going to be creating and building any straw men and setting them on fire. And I'm not going to make any kind of outlandish comparison that doesn't really fit. Um, because that wouldn't serve the purpose of this video. Like it did the other time I did that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Some of you are dumb. Some of you are smart. If you're smart, I told you. And pat yourself on the back because you got it. By the way, all this, you didn't get it. Go fuck the dog. Moving on. Jacqueline Glenn basically got caught plagiarizing using word for word out of her comment sections, out of other videos, and not just once, multiple times, links in the description. Not just once, I want to reiterate that, multiple times, and I'll bet we'll find that the more digging people do, the more of this they're going to find. And I'm not surprised. The first few videos of hers that I watched, and yeah, I watched the first few videos of hers because I thought, oh, she's attractive and she seems, you know, to be somewhat um, intelligent. Um, but then I got this weird icky feeling that um, these weren't her real thoughts, these weren't really her opinions, because um, I had heard them before. You know that weird feeling, like that deja vu feeling? That's the kind of feeling I would get from watching her videos get this feeling like I've heard this before from somewhere you know and you don't really pay much attention and yeah you move on to the next video um, but I've always gotten kinda gotten that feeling and I unsubscribed from her a long time ago um, because you know boring if you're gonna have an opinion about something you know have an original opinion and have it have some balls with some hair on it you know what I mean it's like this is YouTube you know the whole safe news regurgitation thing it's freaking boring. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. It's just a waste of time. And it's sad because people are making a lot of money doing it. This says a lot about our culture and our society nowadays, doesn't it? People like their lukewarm news. Anyhow, I'm seeing this hypocrisy because there was a YouTuber who's still around today um, that was accused of plagiarism and accused of other things I'm not gonna leave that out you know accused of plagiarism and other things and it pretty much destroyed his YouTube channel um, and my point is is that you know being caught plagiarizing something destroyed his credit credibility with a lot of people and I'm not seeing that happen here in this case I'm seeing passes being given. Oh sure, she went on the Drunken Peasant Show and apologized. We could get into that, but I think you've probably seen enough commentary and read enough comments about that whole thing, and I don't really consider that an apology. I consider it um, an acknowledgement. <laughs> There's a difference. You, you get me? Anyhow. What really bothers me is TJ. You know, I see a lot of people giving TJ these verbal high fives. Good job. Good job. He really sucked it to her. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He had kid gloves on like you would not believe. And he did exactly what the community wanted him to do. He gave her a little spanking on the booty. And then told her, well, if you shape up in the future, then I can support you again. No, TJ. If indeed you are the Don of the atheist community, you should have had her taken out. I mean, you're getting weak, bro. You're getting weak. Maybe it's time for a new Don. Maybe. You know, I like to give TJ credit where credit is due. So let's make a comparison here. TJ will take relevant news and then 
will have some kind of funny angle or insightful uh, commentary on it that's entertaining, that's informative, and a lot of times will make you chuckle. That's good content. That's art. Taking the news, presenting it in a way that entertains people, and it's original. What Jacqueline Glenn does is almost the exact opposite. She takes the news, she asks people their opinion, and then reads them word for word as if it's her own monologue. That's what disgusts me the most is if you watch the videos in the description that I've provided for you, she's actually acting and presenting the same mannerisms and speech patterns that she stole from other video makers which I mean when you take something from somebody and you present it as your own and you get paid for it isn't that theft leave a comment let me know what you think about that one I mean I think it's I mean it's criminal I mean if you did it in college you'd be booted out if you did it on you got caught doing it on like a, a job uh, application like falsifying stuff you get fired um, but she gets a spank on the bottom from TJ and everything's okay it's pathetic she's a bad person well I'm not gonna say she's a bad person I don't know her what she did was bad okay alright I'm not gonna say she's a bad person what she did was bad and she did it more than once and if a religious person had done this I have a feeling um, it would be lots more hoopla and lots more shaming and lots more name calling and again you know this isn't about religion or atheism this is about um, somebody doing something bad and it having nothing to do with their religious beliefs or lack thereof so so there so yeah I mean look if we're going to allow this kind of stuff to go on I mean what's YouTube gonna what's it coming to when people do stuff like this and they no longer have any credibility you know I think you need to distance yourself from them that's my opinion you know um, I've made lots of mistakes in the past but I've never plagiarized anybody I've never taken the content from somebody else's video and presented it as my own gosh that's so icky and so just gross <laughs> so yeah I, I think that there's you know again this huge hypocrisy this it looks like this woman's getting a pass um like Agent of Doubt, you know, uh, said, you know, her subscribers are, you know, on Facebook, I think he said this, you know, she's lost some subscribers, but because of all the drama and everything, and because, you know, and I think this, the whole um, Amazing Atheist kind of um, saying it's going to be okay has made people, you know, gravitate, you know, back. A lot of people listen to TJ, and if TJ says that she can recover from it, then she'll probably recover from it. But I'm losing respect for TJ for that because, you know, what happened to your balls, man? What happened for standing up for what was right and defending your craft? You're basically not defending your craft. You're allowing this woman to poop all over your craft, dude, and smear it around and write her name in it. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Anyway, that's my rant. This is not clickbait. That's why you don't see her name, you know, in the title. Um, but maybe it is clickbait. I don't know. I'm still, I'm undecided. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Cheers.